Hello everybody and welcome to another lecture on computer architecture. Today I'm going to show you how to do assembly in the Avier Atmel or Atmel Avier if you wish. So uh, last uh, lecture I've been explaining to you a little bit uh, how the Avier instruction set uh, looked like and uh, what this uh, Avier is all about. So that is about uh, microcontrollers. Uh, and now, of course, we want to write some programs for this. So the easiest uh, way, or actually the most difficult way, would be to use the uh, Atmel Studio and write code in there. And then we do, um, probably you're going to write in C, but that's not what we want. We want it in this lectures on computer architecture. We want to write code in assembly. So today I'm going to show you how to do, do this in, a, in, a, in such a way that you have control over the situation and, and don't have to use the Atmel Studio, which uh, for my liking is a little bit too complex. So unless you're going to do this professionally, um, it's not you cannot learn much uh, from this. So the funny thing is uh, that this AVR, these microprocessors, they are used in the uh, environment of uh, Arduino. And uh, I have here uh, two models. I have here an Arduino Jet Simile. And I have here an Arduino, um, what is this? Uh, an Uno. So let me show you this to you. I have this one and I have uh, this one. So uh, two models. And uh, because this uh, environment of Arduino is very nice, we can actually, based on that, we can, um, we can make use of that and then actually write our assembly program. So uh, I will show you how to do this. So the idea is we're going to use Arduino, the software of the environment of Arduino, to be able to uh, easily write programs in uh, assembly. So I have here a program in assembly, and at the end I will explain what the program does. But first I will uh, show to you, I will teach you how to set up that you can also compile and upload your program to the AVR. So the first thing to do is, of course, you have to write a program. So I have here something. Later I will show you what this does. But now uh, the first thing then to do is to compile it. So I have it here on the desktop. What I need to do now is to install the uh, AVR compiler. We could use this one of uh, Atmel itself. As I said to you, it's too complicated. Much nicer, actually, is to use the one um, made by a certain Robert, or ro 5 Bert. I don't know, uh, probably it means Robert. Uh, and this you can get in the software center of uh, Linux uh, for free. So that is nice. I can show you here if I put here AVR. It will show to me, um, where do we have it? I, I wanted to Avra, exactly. Avra is the um, assembler for Atmel. And this you can just install it. Once you have installed, then you can compile your assembly code. So let me do this. Uh, everything I will do here command line. Of course, that's easiest to show. So I will go to the desktop because there is my program and I will compile this program, which is simple. Avra blink dot ASM blink dot ASM dot ASM. And as you see, assembly complete with no errors. Of course, I tested this already before I make this video. So of course it will uh, work. So now what do we have? We have a so-called uh, Intel hex file and I can show you what this looks like. This is just then our machine code, which is of course no longer uh, readable by uh, humans. But this is our machine code, which we're now going to upload to, um, to our uh, Arduino, to our AVR processor. So let me connect this one. Let me first do the uh, Arduino Uno, because actually, as you can see here already, I can show you that I have taken the Atmega 328. And this is, I've looked at it. In this one is the uh, Atmega 328. So with 32 kilobytes. So I had to design, say this, that this is the device I'm going to use. And then uh, I'm going to upload this. And I don't know how to do this. But then uh, Arduino is actually uh, helping me with this. So I'm not going to teach you how what this instructions, everything what this means. I will just show you how to find out how to do this. So I go here to Arduino. I will uh, connect, as you can see, I will connect it. It's my program is already in there. So now I can find actually, this is the Arduino, which you can also get in the software um, 
software manager. The, the board I have to check, it's now uh, the Arduino Uno. Okay, I have the Uno connected and it's connected to ACM0. Okay, we have to remember that because normally it's putting me this at USB0, but today for some reason it's putting it me in ACM0. Now the thing is, so you can see, imagine that I take the wrong board, so I, uh, I, let me take one uh, other, I will take the Jet Chimile, which is not connected at the moment, and I will take here any uh, program, which I will take from examples, basics, because we're going to do the same, Blink, this is classic, we're going to use the Blink program, and now we're going to compile it, of course it will compile, but it will compile it for the wrong processor, because I have here an at mega uh, 328 so now I want to upload it and if I upload it then actually it will fail let me first show you this I want to go here to preferences for the moment I don't want this one because I will show you in a moment what this means but I will upload it and then of course it will say wait a second the other side is not listening because I have Exactly, as you can see, the programmer is not responding, so it is actually not running correctly. Uh, the problem, of course, is that I have the wrong uh, processor selected, but now what you can see here, it says AVR dude, which means AVR downloader, uploader, but I like to say AVR dude, I guess this, the designer of this did this on purpose. The AVR dude is saying that uh, is nobody is responding, so now we know that this Arduino um, environment actually it makes use the, of the Avra compiler and it also makes use of the AVR dude program for uploading so now we have to install AVR dude but fortunately Arduino already comes with that but if we don't want uh, that then uh, we could install AVR dude which you can also get in the software center but at least we know now what this is all about which command to use to upload so the thing is now, um, so let me now check the, to show you that it can be done correctly. I will go back to the Arduino Uno and now I will upload it, compiling sketch. And as you can see, done, done uploading. So as you can see now, now it's working. It is blinking, as you can see, probably it is blinking at uh, half, half a hertz. And if I want it faster, let me see, I will do it faster, 10 times faster. I hope it works. Let me see, it should be start blink. It starts blinking 10 times faster, as you can see. Now, I want to know what is the exact command how to upload this. For that, I go here to preferences and say show verbose output during upload. Okay, so let me put this back to well, put me 500 or something like this. And now I can find out if I now do upload. It will give me a lot of comments. Let me show you if I can what it has done. I go all the way to the output here. I go all the way to the beginning. And it has showed me what the comment is. AVR dude, which was this up downloader uploader. And then it says the configuration file. Well, I don't need this configuration file. It says that verbose, verbose, verbose. Okay. But now, now comes the interesting part. I have to specify the, the uh, board that I'm using, which in this case is Atmega328P. It says me the um, environment, the programmer, which is in this case is Arduino. It tells me the output port, which is TTI ACM0, exactly, as we know. It tells me the bit rate, 115 kilobaud, uh, minus D, just for the moment I will ignore, because it means it will not uh, do the flash or something like this, will not update the flash, exactly. Um, it will, something like this, never mind. And then it is saying what um, hex file it is uploading. That's nice. So now I have the command. I can uh, uh, substitute here my own uh, file, my own hex file, and I have to then to use these same instructions. So now I can do the same thing, command line. So let me show you, save, save changes. No, um, no, I don't want. So I'm going back here and I can say now, of course I already prepared it. I can now say AVR dude, copy, 
paste. So what I'm doing, AVR, downloader, uploader. The board that I'm using is Atmega 328P. Uh, the programmer is Arduino. The baud rate is uh, 115K. Uh, and I'm the output port. Oh, you see, so this one I now have to uh, change because I'm not on USB 0, but I am for some reason on ASM 0. And then the rest is okay. And as you can see, it has now uploaded it. 38 bytes of flash verified. And you can see it is, well, it's actually doing exactly the same program. Uh, it is blinking. So now let me show you uh, how what this program is actually is doing. But then first I have to go back to um, Arduino. And again, show you what this blinking is doing because the file, my program is doing exactly the same um, the exactly the same thing. So let me go here to Blink. What Blink is doing? Blink is doing first is doing setup, which is then setting the pin mode uh, number, the, the pin of this uh, LED that's blinking, it should be output. And then it is writing to this pin, putting it to five volts, then waiting one second, and then putting it to low, waiting one second, and this goes into a loop. So this is constantly repeating. So setup, setting the output, pin to output, and then in the loop, switching off, uh, switching on, switching off, switching on, switching off, etc. So I'm doing exactly the same. Here is the program. First, I will define equivalent, which is just compiler directives, uh, defining port B, the uh, directional uh, port to, to define uh, what is the direction of this port. So I want to program this as output. Uh, and then pin uh, five is actually the number five. So this actually the, the 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 loop the setup what it is doing it is defining that pin number five of port B is output. So this is done in this way, load immediate into R16 this uh, value, and then putting into in the I/O space in uh, writing into out uh, this value of the register 16 into um, address that defines what is the output or input, what is the direction of the ports. Very nice. So now I have here a loop, as you can see, loop at the end, it jumps back to loop. So this is all the time it's repeating. What it is doing, set bit immediate, and then on port B, it is putting it to uh, one because it's set bit. Then it's calling the uh, function delay counter. I will go to this in a moment, but then it is doing clear bit. Which bit? Well, number pin number five of port B, which is actually connected to pin number 13 of our Arduino. And then it's again calling a delay counter and uh, going into a loop. So it's doing basically the same as my uh, Arduino program. The only thing is missing now to explain is uh, delay counter. Well, delay counter, what it's doing in three registers is just counting down, 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 decrement uh, register 31. If it is um, not zero, then it is uh, again doing register 31 counting down. But when it is zero, then it will do register 30 counting down. And if that one is not zero, then it will go again there. And if, but it, if, if it is zero, then it goes to 29, register 29 decrement. And then again in a loop, 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 loop until all three registers are zero. And in that case, uh, it will return from this um, function call and go back to where it was interrupted, for instance here, and of course in a loop. So it's doing exactly the, the same thing as our Arduino program to show you that I'm not lying. So I'm telling you that this delay counter is then, I've timed it, that it is more or less blinking also in uh, one hertz or, or half and half hertz, something like this. So it's saying that uh, I can make it, for instance, half the speed, uh, double the speed, half the time. So I just uh, changed the delay, uh, the initial values of the delay uh, counter. So this one now should go half the speed. Let me save it and I will compile it. After a blink, yes, uh, no errors, and then upload. It is doing upload, you can see blink, and it is blinking at half, uh, the uh, double the frequency. Now, uh, this is an uh, Uno. So if I want to take another one, I just unplug it and I can do here the Jetschimile. Jetschimile, okay. Let me see if I can make that one blink as well. Well, this is already blinking as it is, but let me use this program. The only thing is I now have to use a different device. So I should do like this. These ports in this case are the same. I can also 
actually say it would be able to say it here but i define it here directly to not be um, to not depending on any libraries so let me compile this one i, I didn't save it it's a pity um yes well it still has no errors but of course now i have it connected now i don't know which port it is am i on usb zero or on uas acm uh, zero uh, so i have to again find out i will go to arduino and find out it will always nicely tell me serial port ah i'm on usb zero now the rest is is all is, is the same so i'm on, on usb zero so i can directly use this one i'm now on atmega 168 board it is smaller than the other oh i should connect copy everything here copy and this should now work let me see if we have everything AVR downloader uploader at mega 168 still we use the Arduino as the programmer now we have lower speed because this is all the technology and we're on a different port on a different com port here USB port because it's in USB zero I hope this works let me see it is um, yes it has done the flash let me do it now to see if it uh, do it 16 times eight times slower so um, I will make it slower save it to see if it is still working so I'm telling you that it's going um, 15 times slower uh, compile no errors upload no errors and as you can see it is now blinking uh, very uh, slow the only thing is, of course, the, the problem with this uh, thing is that uh, it doesn't have any visual uh, nice input. You cannot connect a monitor to it. So you have no easy uh, way of communicating with uh, humans. You could also write uh, output to the RS-232 and then communicate with the computer. Uh, but that uh, can be done. I leave that to the uh, viewer to uh, do something like this. I I guess it is not uh, too difficult. So this concludes the uh, lecture on how to write assembly in um, in the AVR without the need of any Atmel Studio or something like this. You can use Arduino to help you, but as you can see, you do not need it. If you know how to do the uploading, then you can directly uh, write in uh, assembly directly without any help, without any any libraries. You, what you need is the Avra uh, compiler, assembler, and you need the AVR dude to uh, upload the thing to your uh, board. Okay, see you in the next uh, video.